One teenager in critical condition and left two others hurt after a shooting. Sky Action News Jax was in Arlington yesterday as multiple agencies worked to secure that scene. And now we're learning that the shooting was in retaliation because of a fight between two schools. Action News Jax, Russell Colburn is live at the Jacksonville Sheriff's Headquarters downtown. Russell, police say way too many teenagers are getting their hands on guns. Seemingly every day we're covering some type of violent incident involving teens on our streets. But we also know the problem is spilling into our schools. Action News Jax has the number nine guns found on school campuses just this year. Three guns found at First Coast High School alone this school year. Worried the problem is spiraling out of control. At least 150 parents met there with the principal Thursday night about what can be done. So far, no one has been hurt, but parents say they fear the worst could be coming. It's going to happen. And when it happens, I'm going to come to you and everybody else, and I'm going to say, I told you so. As this discussion was happening, police were at multiple crime scenes after three teenagers were hurt in an Arlington shooting. Officers say one teen is in critical condition. Addressing the problem of guns in schools, multiple parents have told Action News Jacks they want metal detectors brought in, but First Coast High says that's not happening. They're going to play around until something happens. You don't want to create an environment where they feel like they're in a prison. Superintendent Dr. Nikolai Vidi believes the problem is starting in the home. I think it's happening because parents and guardians just aren't intervening enough um, in their children's lives. Right now, the open dialogue continues between parents and the school district, and we'll let you know of any plans that develop. As for the shooting investigation, police say they have four people in custody as persons of interest. No arrests so far. Live at JSO, Russell Colburn, Fox 30, Action News, Jack.